man, there's just something about turning this on, man, that does it. That does it for me. Welcome to the Jeremy Redmond Daily. I thought about this one thing, so I wanted to turn this on. Advice, right? Like, this is more like chaotic business advice as I build this company, if I can help. Here's my path. Here's some no-code stuff. Here's some interviews. By the way, we got a new segment as well. I hope you know the one question, one answer. I ask one question, you give me one answer. Rocket science. We'll probably arrange it with themes. So we'll have like one question a week or a question a month and we'll ask different people. I like question a week. Question 10 days. Question two weeks. Question fortnight. I think that's two weeks. Double check me, Dave. Um, Cesar, Cesar. One thing based around this whole advice thing is how many people actually take the advice given even when asked? And I think about this so often that it's like, I actually, I'll, I'll make a separate video for this, but I actually have something called the Jeremy's threshold of mistakes. I think that's what I call it. I haven't said it in a while. I believe there is a certain number of mistakes that you or anybody has to make in order to become successful. So, and what I mean by that is, people wanna, maybe, remember we made the video about not paying for advisors. We'll link that up below. Link it below, David says, or says or. We, And I made this video about like advice, right? You're probably more uh, apt to accept the advice or listen to it or do it if you're paying for it. There's something there, I guess. But, what I'm thinking about now is the amount of advice given, even when it's asked for, that's actually taken. Because I was watching this, um, I don't know if it was a document, I literally just caught it on the, my walk in here, like someone was playing in the office. And it was like Phil Jackson talking about Kobe Bryant and, and Phil Jackson, who's the, who was the you know, legendary coach of the Chicago Bulls and the Lakers. He gave some piece of advice to Kobe Bryant and Kobe Bryant took it, right? And he did it, and he did it. And then I thought to myself, and Kobe Bryant, greatest ever, right? One of, or one of greatest ever to ever play the sport, let alone his position. And then I thought to myself, is it, is it more on the advice giver or the advice taker to really execute and achieve whatever that advice was trying to achieve? What I mean by that is, I'm sure there are people who over the decades who have asked Phil Jackson, the Zen master, I don't know if that's his nickname. Double check me, Dave, is that his nickname? Answer, <laughs> okay. Uh, there are, I'm sure, at least dozens of people, at least dozens, have asked Phil Jackson over the course of their life, career, just bumping into him at a sushi shop. I'm sure that people just, as you meet him, you ask like little questions, little things, and he has advice, right? Or how many players on the Chicago Bulls and the Lakers took the same advice Phil to You think he's giving different advice to Kobe and different play? No, he's trying to get greatness out of everyone. I'm sure there was some little nuances, whatever. But Kobe took the advice and fucking ran with it and did it and did everything. So is the achieving goals based on advice more on the advice giver or the advice taker to believe in it? believe the advice is right. I believe 90% of advice, wait for it, is garbage advice, is garbage advice. 90% of advice ever given is garbage, fade away in the garbage advice. And here's why I think that. It's not bad advice for that person giving it, right? It's bad advice for the person receiving it because it's not applicable. The majority of advice given is not applicable. What I like is like, here's what I've done. Here's what I've done. Take it for what you want. 90% of this is garbage. So I'm at least gonna entertain you. I'm gonna entertain you. Hot dog. I'm gonna entertain you, okay? At least, at a minimum. Because I know only either 10% of people will actually take it or like it or do whatever, right? But for me, it's more about what you do with the advice. 
in the comments, let me know if you, what percentage of advice is garbage? That's what I'd like to know. What percent of it, Dave, the title of this should be 90% of advice given is garbage. So entertain me. Entertain me.